everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And per the use, because I can't help but say it, this is another exciting video. And this is one of my favorite videos. Well, not this is, but these types of videos are like my favorite types of videos to film. I love doing product reviews, I guess because I love trying new things as well as I love sharing because hashtag sharing is caring as well as I'm a nerd. So I love doing research. This video is about this little baby right here. This is a hidden gem. This is a hidden treasure that I did not know about until recently. No, let me take that back. I heard about it, but I never tried it. Now I will tell you, this video is not sponsored by Iman Cosmetics. I did a one minute video that I uploaded on here, which was initially for Instagram with Iman Cosmetics. That there was sponsored. This here is not y'all. I'm telling like, I'm, this is one reason why I love doing what I do, okay? I'm, I just love it, I really do. Because working with different companies or receiving different products from different companies, it totally gives me the opportunity to try stuff that I might not have tried. And now, girl, I have been rocking this probably ever since I received it to do the video. I wanna say that I have been using this foundation probably a good, two or three weeks and then I go to use another foundation and I'm like, but this is so simple. It's in a stick. All I got to do is roll it up, wipe it on and we're good. Now I have some tips and tricks on how I rock this with my combination skin because I don't have extremely oily skin and I would definitely recommend this for anyone that has oily skin, especially during these hot summer months, doing, especially during these hot summer months because this stuff does not move. This stuff is mattifying. And I'm gonna explain to you why I use it the way I use it. Let me get a paper towel. Actually, there's two ways that I use it and I'll go into it a little bit. And I will give you some of the specs now because I'm gonna try to come back later, but I may not make it back later to tell you guys about it. But just in case I don't make it back later to tell you guys about it, I'm telling you right now, it lasts all day long. If you guys follow me, for instance, um, on my video, I did like a vlog video where I introduced my whole family to you guys, and well, some of them, and I started rocking that foundation in that morning, and then I wore it all the way to the end of the night. So if you follow that vlog, or if you watch that video, you'll see how long it lasted. So disclaimer, I always use a primer. I don't care if I'm doing a foundation review or not, like I use a primer, cause that's just how we rock it. Plus it is very important that I use a primer in this specific video because I'm explaining to you how I rock this foundation because this is, like I use two different primers, okay? And I'll explain that when we get to it. I know you're like, what girl, why? But kind of like how you use multiple masks sometimes to get certain areas, same way I'm gonna explain the primers. And also, I always use a corrector. Now, I definitely have somewhere to go, so I'm definitely gonna rock my foundation how I would rock it if I weren't even filming a review for you guys, all right? So the primers that I'm gonna use in this video are primers that I have showcased in some of my favorite videos already. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer, Girl, you better believe I got a backup. I'm looking at my monitor, but you better believe I got a backup because the love is real. And then you see, I've been using it. I've been using it. I've been using it. <laughs> so this is the Becca first, I think it's first light priming filter. That's what it is. So I use both of these, but I recently did a takeover on um, Iman Cosmetics Instagram stories. And I use this one in the place of this one, but this one actually has like a tint to it. So I don't want my hands to get all messy today, so we're not gonna use it. It's their skin tone evener and it's BB cream and it is in the shade clay medium deep. And this is not like a BB cream that I'm like used to. I'm used to BB creams being a little bit thick, you know, giving you a little more coverage. This is very, very sheer. It almost gives you a glow. So if you just didn't want to apply anything, kind of like what this does, but it actually has a subtle, subtle tint to it, all right? Like you have makeup all on your hands when you use it, but it kind of does the same thing. It makes your skin look really, really healthy. It gives you a really, really healthy glow. So yeah, just so y'all know. We have a situation going on right here. 
Now, I don't get very many, but when I do, like they are extremely disrespectful. Now, let's get into it. Before we apply the primer, this foundation right here is very, very like mattifying, okay? And they have 14 shades, okay? And the shade that I'm in is Clay 5. This, is, in a sense, is a little bit mattifying. It's like, it feels like a moisturizer, but it does help keep your skin kind of mattified, even though it's not marketed as a mattifying primer. So when I put it all over and then I use that foundation, it was a little too drying for me because remember, I'm combination, I'm not completely oily everywhere. Now this primer is more of your hydrating primer. So if you have dry skin or normal skin, you wanna go with like a moisturizing type hydrating primer. If you have oily skin, you wanna go with a more mattifying primer, although they say you can use this one with normal skin too. I, I just wanna make sure that you guys understand what I'm doing and I'm not just moving too quick. So this is the only place that I am going to apply this primer, but you see how it gives you like that dew and it's just, it just makes you look like you have healthy skin. I will use this when I'm wearing no makeup like whatsoever and it just gives my skin this healthy glow. Now is where I go into my It Bye Bye Pores Primer and I just do a dab, a dibba dabba do you. So I put it on my nose, I put it right here because also it does help minimize pores a little bit and I'll put a little bit right here. And just so you know, I freaking love this foundation, but I have to apply it a certain way, which is why I really, really wanted to do a review on it to let you guys know. Cause sometimes things may appear to not really work for you, but sometimes you just have to tweak it a little bit and it'll give you what you need, you know what I mean? So my corrector I'm using is Makeup Forever R50, and this is what it looks like. And I have a whole video on the whole collection. Now that everything is corrected, I could literally just blend that out real good and I could put a powder on, but I love foundation way too much. Okay, now one thing you do wanna know is you wanna be very careful because I think I was rolling it up too far and it actually kind of fell off. So don't roll it up too far, but let me tell you, I popped that baby right back in there. Uh-uh, we using my foundation. I have used this a few times, so I don't wanna roll it up too high because I told you we had a situation. So you get a little bit more than that, but I've been using it too. So I just swipe it on, just kidding. So I just swipe it on, be very careful because I don't want this on my clothes either. And I like it because it's not messy. I mean, and if you just wanna like you do your little stick foundation, blend it out and go to work, you totally can do that. So anyway, this color matches me like really, really good. Like I'm really happy about it and pictures and everything. Like I'll link that video like I told you guys and you could totally check it out and you can see how it looks in daylight and all that. And yes, I'm generous with foundation. It don't take all this, but I like it. So I'm gonna blend it out with this. This is a Luxie brush. It is called the Round Top Blender Brush 532. I go into a brush first, but I do use my beauty blender. But see, this is why I had to do a review, y'all. I gotta break it down. I do the brush first, because it seems like it's hard to kind of move it around. But once I get that initial layer on, then my beauty blender just kind of blends it out and not necessarily to try to share it, but it makes it look more flawless for me. Please, ladies, ladies, when you're doing foundation, bring that baby down like that, okay? To make sure that it doesn't look like you have on a mask. If you know you're gonna wear a ponytail or you're gonna be showing your ears in any kind of way, just hit it a little bit like that. My mini me's when I do their makeup, they can't stand when I do that. But listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, the average person would stop right there, but since I'm C-key <laughs> and I'm generous with foundation, I'm gonna apply some more. Here is where I go into my Beauty Blender. And isn't this just so cute? Beauty Blender actually came out with the Swirl Beauty Blender. They actually sent it in a PR package and I showcased it on my Snapchat. And I think I showed it on Instagram too, but isn't it just the cutest ever? It kind of stained though. I don't know what foundation stained it. It didn't come all the way clean. But here is where I take my Beauty Blender and I blend it into the skin. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use my concealer by ColourPop. Y'all know I've been using this too. I still, I switch between my Double Wear by Estee Lauder and what else do I use? I use quite a few concealers, but this is now added in rotation. This is in the shade Deep Golden. I have a video all about it. I'm gonna do all of my face and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this foundation. Part of the use, okay? So let's get on to the specs of the foundation, the foundation. All right, it says the application, apply with sponge for a natural and sheer look, use fingertips and blend evenly for maximum coverage. Now, I did not wanna get it all on my hands, so that's why I used a brush. 
Apply foundation and blend downward in the direction of your hair growth for a more even texture. When applying with fingers, use your ring finger. This applies the least amount of pressure and it's a good choice for oily combination skin. I told you guys, if you have dry skin, if you have normal skin, you may wanna test this out um, knowing that it's very mattifying because sometimes people with normal or dry skin can get away with really mattifying foundations but i'm just forewarning you okay oily combination girls for real it says second to none stick foundation is an oil-free makeup yeah y'all i forgot to say that too it is called second to none stick foundation and i think they named it accurately because it is second to none this stuff is pretty amazing like oh, amazing it is <gasps> I didn't even know this. Formulated with moisturizing jojoba esters, nourishing antioxidant vitamins. And it says full coverage, long wearing, matte color for a natural looking complexion. And it does say that it is made in China and it's paraben free. Y'all like y'all know the struggles that I go through with finding the perfect foundation and not having to mix. This foundation is very, very similar to my skin color. So this has the warmth I need. It has the golden tones that I need. It has the olive in it that I need. Like you, you got what I need. No, I'm just kidding. This color is sand four and you can use that as a highlight. It's more of, I guess it's, it's on a little bit on the neutral side. It does have some golden, but it's a little more on the neutral side. Now the other shade that I have is clay two. Now I was a cross between clay two and clay five and clay two was just a little bit too light. Matter of fact, let me roll it down some cause I told y'all. Um, yeah, that foundation situation. So let's put them together and see the difference. So there we go. So this one right here is clay two and this is clay five. And I feel like clay five was a little more of my skin tone. It's a little deeper and it had more of the tones that I need. Target sells Iman. I know that Walgreens sells Iman. I'm not sure who else sells it, but I know that they do. At Target, it ranges from $13.19 to $15.99. Now I know with Target, I love Target, y'all. First off, I used to work there when I was little, number one, or younger. And number two, they have this thing called like debit card. So what that means is whenever you use your debit card with Target, whether it be in the store or whether it be online, you get 5% off every single purchase y'all and it is combined with other discounts and you get free shipping when you shop online if you have the debit card like this is not sponsored by target but girl i love me some target if you follow me on snapchat you know that so that is pretty much it i love it it gets like a, a 10 out of 10 from me girl because first off you have my color like what Secondly, you're matte. Y'all know I love matte. And third, it lasts all day long. All night long, all night. Just kidding. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys, I do have a new channel. It's called Seeky Uncut. It's where, man, I talk about like, Everything that kind of won't fit here on the beauty channel is all over there. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because I mean, the more the merrier. I would love for you guys to join the family. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up because it totally helps the channel. And girl, we are almost at 100K. Can I get a what? Can I get a whoop whoop? <laughs> so I'm super duper excited. You guys have an awesome blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. Tiki beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Tiki beauty. Yeah, Tiki beauty.